Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing some more on Bridge. So let's get right to it, I guess. Um, from where we left off, we were over we were over here last time we left off. So this this I'm going to be t I'm going to be showing you guys how to more customize Bridge to your liking in settings. So go back to settings. So first you want to start over in settings. Here's where you can choose the the theme for a bridge. I prefer to go dark because I also go light or just automatic, which I'm pretty sure is just for your Windows theme. The dark theme, you can also change the Halloween dark. I mean, yeah, okay. But yeah, you can change this to Halloween. Default, but for Halloween, it looks like that. Soft blue. Orange. Classic de default. Coral, and finally, Dark Knight. These are all customizations, but I'm gonna just, for this, the other thing I'm gonna stick to Halloween. Then we have the local dark theme, which we're not gonna go over that today. But then they have the font for everything. I like the font for all of the, the font for the coding, the the code size, the font size for all of that, and yeah, so this is basically how everything looks for it, which is why it's appearance. An editor, you want, I prefer tree editor, where you can always go raw text to edit it, to edit it directly. Over here you have bracket parallelization, you can color the brackets in it, and um, the editor. Word wrap, no idea, that does actually. Um, word wrap columns, blah blah blah. Auto save changes every single one, every once in a while. It'll save all your changes. I don't know why I, have that. I don't have that on. That should always be on. I'm gonna keep all the. You can go look through this, change all that. Just hide brackets. You can make all those brackets that you would usually color. Just make them invisible. And the tree editor. You can also do projects. The default author for new projects. You can also so for all of your projects, it'll automatically be drag. It. I mean, well, not drag. It. it could be anything you want. Simple. I am actually gonna do that. I'm gonna keep it like that. In the sidebar, you can you can choose what's on there. So I can remove extensions. You can see over there. Yeah. Quick export compiler. Under place pack explorer. Choose project. Pack explorer again. Open folders. But yeah. So those are all like the stats. The sidebar. You can extra large. But or I can make like the sidebar size. You can see it changes over there. Tiny, small, normal, large. I like keeping it at normal. I think. Or is it small? I like keeping it it's small. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's how you would use... So that's just about it. Um, if you have any more questions, please um, ask in the comments. And the last thing I'm going to be doing is showing you guys the tools... Snowstorm is for making the particles for stuff. Block Bench is very similar to, to Snowstorm, but it is used for making the models themselves and animations. The Minecraft document documentation documents tells you like the like how like what the specific thing is of a, of something. And Bedrock Dev is amazing because it tells you exactly. If you go over here, you can see it'll open up a new tab. Bedrock Dev is amazing. You can just go. It's outdated, but it still is quite useful. So, if you want to learn about items, it'll tell you. You can get little examples from the code. Select all of it. No, oh, missed all of it. I didn't miss, get all of it. And then you can just go copy. And you can go to like your other tab, and you could even keep that open. Um, Bedrock tab, and then you can like copy that over here, and then like, and then you can paste it. So you can paste in code, but that does not really work because, you know, so, yeah, but that is how you can, that's how you would, that's how you get, like, code for stuff like that, and if you, if you use chat, if, if you know how to use chat GPT, you can also use that for stuff, for code as well, you can ask it, like, how would you code this in, with, with bedrock code, 
for Minecraft. And then it would give you like a full line of code and you could like you say, give me an example, and then it'll give you an example of that. And that's gonna be really useful for when you're getting code for what you're doing. And yeah, okay. So I think that's um all we have for today. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.